Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever in the world you may be watching. This is the final upload in the series Excel for Absolute Beginners where we bring together all of the features that we have learned in the various uploads for which you will find links in various parts of this upload if you wish to look at the uh, method of carrying out the various procedures which we'll be using. This particular worksheet contains, as we'll see, some salespeople with their sales, commission, of whether they're under or over a budget, and uh, the commission rate used is, will be 5%. The budget is $12,000. We're going to total the uh, sales. We're going to find the average sale, and we're also going to total the commissions. We'll also look up a salesperson so that we can see at a glance without having to ferret through all of the salespeople. There may be dozens if not hundreds of them in a large organisation. So what I'll be able to do is to type in this cell the name of a salesperson. We'll say Harry Green. And when we type Harry Green there, Excel will isolate by using VLOOKUP the information related just to Harry Green. So what we'll be doing again is using our checklist as we've done in previous uploads so that we can keep track of where we are. We'll put a tick in these check boxes as we complete the particular procedures. Now what I've done from the goal worksheet I've simply copied the data and removed the formatting. Now the first thing we're going to do is to use some formulas and we're going to use the sum formula to total the sales. So in the home tab I'll go to the drop arrow next to the auto sum button and click sum. Excel looks up the column says are these the numbers you want to add? The answer is yes so I will control enter to remain in the same cell there are my total sales. The average sales I want in this particular cell so I'll click the drop arrow and use the average function. Excel has guessed incorrectly. We don't want to include the total sales in the averages we want to override its guess by dragging down through the cells that we do want to average and control and enter will give me the particular answer that I need. The Commission. In this cell we're going to use an IF statement there is a comprehensive uh, uh, IF training video uh, in the link that you'll see if you wish to look at it. And I'm going to type equal IF and open a bracket. Now the first argument is the test. And I'm going to test that cell and say is that cell greater than 12,000? If it is, my next argument is to multiply D8 by 5%. If it's not, then what I want to uh, see is nothing or none. So because it's text in double quotes, I'll type none. Control Enter. Yes, Tom Brown's going to earn $750. Now I can autofill that formula down or if there is data in the cells next to the formula cell I can simply double click so there's a little trick that will save you some time. Now we want to know if the salesperson is under or over the budget of 12,000. Again we'll use an if statement equals if open the bracket. The test is if that cell is greater than 12,000, comma, show me the word over in double quotes, comma, double quotes under. So again, we've tested, we've said if the test is true, the value of true show over, or if the value is false, show under. Control enter, he's over the budget. There is information in all of the cells next to the formula so I can double click the autofill button or I could drag down. So there is my answer to the problem. So now I see that uh, uh, I have information available to me for analysis sake uh, 
virtually at the uh, click of a button. Let's uh, let's just test a cell to see what happens when I change the value. Let's say Tom Brown's sales were 11,000. When I press Control Enter or Enter, I'll see he the commission will become none, and he'll be under the budget, and these figures down here will change as well. So let's see. Let's make sure that I'm not telling you a fib. There we go. So I'm going to undo that last action and there we have put things back where they were. Now the next formula I'm going to type is a lookup formula and before I do we can go back to our checklist and we've looked at the sum and the average formulas we've used if to see results and now we're going to look up uh, some uh, information in multiple columns and we're going to use absolute values. Again there is a training video the link is on this particular area of this upload. So back to achieving the goal because I want to be able to type the name of a salesperson in this cell and have the information relating to just that salesperson in these three cells here. So I'm going to say equal remembering all formulas start with an equal sign equal V lookup and open a bracket and I want to look up what is in cell C19 because that's where I'm going to type the name of the salesperson comma the data is in that matrix there so no problem C8 to C14 C8 down to C14 comma and the first answer I want is the sales which is in the second column column 2 comma we want to stop at the first exact match so we type the word false and close the bracket now let's think about what happens when I autofill formulas or copy formulas across as I move through the various columns these column references the column letters will change so I have to make them absolute and I can do that by either typing dollar signs before the column and cell references or I can use the F4 key so I'll click on that cell reference and click and type or press F4 puts dollar signs the same with that one and the same with that one that locks the reference to those cells when I copy the formula across. So control enter uh, there's an error message here because there's nothing typed in here in the salesperson at this stage. Now I'm going to copy across by using my autofill button and I'll test it by saying show me Harry Green and there is Harry, Harry Green's uh, data except I see that I have the wrong answers in these cells why is that? well when I copied the formula I also copied the number 2 here so what I have to do in this cell is to say that the information is in column number 3 in this cell the information is in column number 4 so now I see that I have the correct information so remember that the column numbers counting from the left are column 1, 2, 3 and 4 in that particular matrix so far so good now we can go to our checklist and we've used V lookup now having entered our formulas and tested them we know that they're working okay we can now proceed to the final situation formatting I always suggest that you enter your formulas or your data first then your formulas make sure they're working and finally make your spreadsheet look a bit prettier by formatting now what we have to do here uh, we can do quite a number of these things at the one time uh, by using the control key so I see that the heading has been centered, merged and centered across those uh, columns 
the yellow background with red text is the same with these cells here. So I can do them all at the one time. So the first thing we're going to do, to make things a little easier to see, I'm going to change the view zoom to 115%. So it just makes things a little bit bigger and easier to work with. So there we go. Now what I can do is to merge and center the heading across columns C to F by dragging through there. Remember there's a training video on this in the link that you see. And I'm going to go to the Home tab and click the Merge and Center button there. That merges and centers those uh, that particular heading for neatness sake across the um, columns that contain the data. Now, I'm going to change the color background and the color of the text. I have this selected. I'm going to hold down the control key and I'm going to click on the total and the average sales. So I select all three at the one time. Now I'm going to fill the background here, the fill color with yellow and I'll make the text red. While they're selected, I'll make them bold. I'll also increase the so size of the font. So each time I click the button here it increases the font size by a couple of points. So far so good. Let's click away and I see now that my spreadsheet is starting to achieve the particular um, formatting that I see back in the goal. Now in achieving the goal I see that I hadn't completed that uh, selection of cells there with the background and the red text. So I'm going to click back in here and I'm going to click once there and then in the clipboard I will double click on the format painter button and I'm going to now click on that one. Why didn't why did it work like that? Why did it do what it did? It's because I chose a multi-cell situation so you need to be a bit careful when you use the format painter button. I'm going to undo that last action and I'll click once on this cell and double click the format painter button. Double clicking means I can apply the formatting more than once. And now we can click on the cells here. So you might think uh, of that as a deliberate mistake that I made just to point out that you need to be careful in which um, uh, cell you click to copy the formatting. Let's press escape which will remove the scrolling marquee. There we go and now I see that I need to think about putting uh, borders around these cells. All right. So back to the achieving goals. We'll click on that one. Control key down. We'll drag through those. We'll drag through those. And I now am going to go to the border button in the font group. Click on the drop arrow because I want to put all borders. And that's exactly what it has done. Now I could have included this area here in the all borders. So let's do that now. I'm going to drag through those cells and click the all border. That shows me the last one I used. And there it shows me all of the borders. Now I want to center a line what is in these. And control key down. I also want to center a line those. And I want to center a line those. So all I've done is to multi-select data uh, using the control key so that I only need to click once on my command uh, which is here the central line button and everything central lines nicely for me. Finally the goal worksheet look up a salesperson is bolded and italicized no problem click on it bold italicized and finally we see that 
in the goal that's a bluey color these are red these are bolded bold them these are red red text and I chose for Harry Green uh, one of the blue colors I think it was that one there that's near enough and we'll bold it to make it stand out okay so there is my uh, my, my virtually completed uh, sheet just uh, one to check I filled these cells with a darker grey for appearance sake achieving the goal fill with a darker grey that one there looks nice and will uh, all borders as well so there we see it down here just to finalise it all borders and ladies and gentlemen there we have our formatted formula tested spreadsheet and remember as I said before all of the procedures uh, appear in links which will open up in a separate window if you want to check on the uh, on the method of um, uh, each of the procedures let's just double check to make sure I've done everything there oh I've got a uh, bolded set up here and I've also got dollar signs here in various cells so back to the achieving goals I'm going to bold those select any cells with dollars in them and here in the number group the drop arrow next to the dollar sign I'll use English United States which gives me two decimal points so another couple here English United States now that's how it's done so even though you may be or have been an absolute beginner in Excel with a little bit of care a little bit of, little bit of testing it is not difficult to achieve a very very good spreadsheet which will give you information obviously I've used a sale situation but uh, you can apply whatever concept you need to your spreadsheets thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time bye for now